Updates on the Department of Social Welfare and Development's food stamp program were discussed during the sectoral meeting this morning where President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. approved the pilot and full implementation of the projects under this program. Pagkubahan na ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang pilot run ng food stamp program sa bansa. Kabilang sa mga prioridad na makikinabang ang mga beneficiaryong single parent at mga nagdadalang tao. Ayon kay DSWD Secretary Rex Gatchalian, layo nitong matugunan ang kahirapan, malnutrisyon at kagutuman sa bansa. The President approved the run of the pilot, which is fully funded through grants. Uh, grants from the ADB, uh, JICA, and the French Development Agency. So that will be 3 million US dollars all in all. As mentioned, uh, when I came to visit you before, we had this program of feeding our uh, food poor families, a million of them. So uh, as uh, mentioned by uh, Daphne, the president approved the run of the pilot, which is fully funded through grants. Uh, grants from the ADB, uh, JICA, and the French Development Agency. So that will be 3 million US dollars all in all. Uh, there's a provision to expand it. ADB is still working on other trust funds so that we can expand the pilot. But other than that, it's a f all green lights go na for the pilot, which will take place shortly. Uh, from the pilot, we will see the nuances, what needs to be improved, what needs to be enhanced, what needs to be discontinued. It'll run for six months. Uh, we are doing the pilot so that we don't end up with wasteful spending. We want to make sure that when we do expand the program on its regular run, even if the president already approved it, we want to learn from the pilot and we want to start right. That was the takeaway. The talking to, um, uh, speaking with the economic team last Friday, the main takeaway was um, tighten the design. Uh, importante, we start the program right. And that is the takeaway. But second, Kanina, as mentioned by Daphne, the president also wants to bring in uh, pregnant lactating mothers because we have to start looking at stunting in this country. And the first 1,000 days program is very important. Uh, if you look at the family of programs in DSWD, and I'm sure si Secretary Ted will also explain in DOH, there are ongoing first 1,000 days programs already. But ang gusto ng ating Pangulo, synchronize natin itong mga programa na to sa isang pamilya ng mga programa wherein hindi siya parang silo na isa-isa. Kung hindi, pagtapos sa program A, pupunta siya sa program B, pupunta siya sa program C. Alam natin yung uh, problema ng stunting is very important and very crucial na masugpo natin if we are to invest in human capital. Kaya nga, uh, mag-collaborate kami ni Secretary Herbosa dahil meron tayo, kung natandaan nyo, yung PMNP o in Philippine Multisectoral Nutrition Program. It's a program that was launched launch mga 60 days ago with the World Bank's backing. 70% of that pro program is with DOH in implementing food uh, nutrition-specific programs. Kami naman sa DSWD, nutrition-sensitive programs. Kasi alam naman natin na hindi lang pagkain ang tinitignan natin pagdating sa paglaban sa stunting, kundi yung overall well-being ng isang ina, pati na ninong kabataan. Kasama dyan yung wash facilities, kasama dyan yung... Uh, uh, making sure na may enough uh, facilities for child development katulad ng mga daycare center. So pag iigtingin natin yung programa na yan para masynchronize naman natin siya dito sa upcoming natin na food stamps program. Uulitin namin ang marching order ng Pangulo. Dapat malabanan natin ang stunting at ang kagutuman pagsani puwersa ng mga iba't ibang programa ng gobyerno para hindi sila piece by piece ang turing sa mga programa. Inaprubahan na ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang pilot run ng food stamp program sa bansa. Kabilang sa mga prioridad na makikinabang ang mga beneficiaryong single parent at mga nagdadalang tao. Ayon kay DSWD Secretary Rex Gatchalian, layo nitong matugunan ang kahirapan, malnutrisyon at kagutuman sa bansa. The president approved the run of the pilot, which is fully funded through grants. Uh, grants from the ADB, uh, JICA, and the French Development Agency. So that will be 3 million US dollars all in all.